Hi there, this is Joe Finn with Oregon State University's Web and Mobile Services, and today we are going to continue our exploration of the media module by taking a look at how it integrates with the CK Editor Rich Text Editor. So we get uh, quite a bit of functionality out of the gate through the media module. Uh, perhaps the biggest piece of functionality that we get is the ability to reuse existing media. Um, what this means is, for example, if you want to embed a file on several different pages, you don't have to re-upload that file every single time you want to embed it. Instead, you upload it once, it exists in the system, and every single time you want to embed it somewhere else, you can actually find it in the system, which is kind of nice. Some additional cool functionality that we have is the ability to apply some preset styles. As an example, you might have four different image presets. You might have one that's like a thumbnail and it's small, like 100 by 100 pixels. Um, and maybe you might have a preset that's larger, like 300 by 400. You can embed an image from the media module and apply any one of those image presets to it. So if you need a big picture, you can set it for 300 by 400. If you need a small 100 by 100 thumbnail, you can choose that as well. You don't have to create and upload several different sized images anymore. You just need one. And finally, finding things is so much easier now using the media module because you can run queries on your media. And you can run several different types of queries. So you can search on a piece of the title, for example. Or you can pull up a particular media type. Say, for example, you wanted to sort through all of your videos. You can search on the video media type and it will pull up just a subset of videos. So one thing you need to know before we get started though is how to access the media module on your CK editor. Because when we come into a node by default, you'll see that the text format is set to filtered HTML. This is fine for just general text purposes, um, but if we want to do things that are a little more complicated, like embedding images or working with tables, we need to actually change the text format to full HTML. When we do that, it gives us some additional tools to work with up here. The media button is right here. This is what you want to use to access the media browser. So we just go ahead and click it, and you get your media browser pop up. And you'll see that we have a few different tabs here that we are going to explore in future tutorials. So this has been Joe Finn with Oregon State University's Web and Mobile Services, and I look forward to seeing you for future tutorials.